AWSIAM quiz. Question 1. What does IAM stand for in AWS? A. Identity and Access Management Internet Access Management Infrastructure Automation Management Information and Asset Management Correct answer is A. Identity and Access Management Explanation IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. It is a web service that enables you to securely control access to AWS resources. Question 2. Which of the following is not customer responsibility security in the cloud? A. Client-side data encryption, identity and access management, management of global infrastructure, networking traffic protection. Correct answer is C. Management of Global Infrastructure Explanation AWS is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all of the services offered in the AWS cloud. This infrastructure is composed of the hardware, software, networking, and facilities that run AWS cloud services. Question 3. Which entity is used to represent an AWS account? A. IAM user, IAM group, IAM policy, root user. Correct answer is D. Root user. Explanation. The AWS account root user is the entity that represents your AWS account. It has complete access to all AWS services and resources within the account. It is recommended to create IAM users and groups with appropriate permissions instead of using the root user for day-to-day -day tasks. Question 4. Which of the following is not an IAM identity? A. IAM user, IAM group, IAM rolled, IAM bucket. Correct answer is D. IAM bucket. Explanation. IAM entities include IAM users, IAM groups, and IAM roles. IAM buckets do not exist. S3 buckets are not IAM entities but are used to store objects in Amazon S3. Question 5. What is the purpose of an IAM policy in AWS? A. To define rules for internet connectivity. To define permissions for AWS resources. To define the billing and payment details. To define server configurations. Correct answer is B. To define permissions for AWS resources, explanation, an IAM policy is a JSON document that defines permissions for AWS resources. Question 6. How are permissions assigned to users in i.a.m. question mark a using IAM groups using IAM policy esc using AWS service roles using AWS root account Correct answer is B using IAM policies explanation Permissions are assigned to users in IAM using IAM policies, 
IAM policies define the actions and resources that a user can access. Question 7. AWS has ended support for which of the following MFA methods? A. SMS text message based MFAB, FIDO security key, virtual MFA device, hardware tot token. Correct answer is A. SMS text message based MFA. Explanation AWS ended support for enabling SMS multi factor authentication. MFA AWS recommends users to use one of the other three methods. Question 8 the authorization strategy that defines permissions based on attribute tags is A. Book, IAM policy, ABUT, none of the above. Correct answer is C. ABUT. Explanation Attribute based access control, ABAC, is an authorization strategy that defines permissions based on attributes. In AWS, these attributes are called tags. You can attach tags to IAM resources, including IAM entities, users, or roles, and to AWS resources. Question 9 What are access keys in IAM used for? A. To access AWS resources directly without authentication, to access the AWS Management Console, to enable multi-factor authentication for IAM users, to sign programmatic requests to the AWS CLI or AWS API. Correct answer is D. To access AWS programmatically using the AWS API. Explanation. Access keys are long-term credentials for an IAM user or the AWS account root user. You can use access keys to sign programmatic requests to the AWS CLI or AWS API, directly or using the AWS SDK. Question 10. Which of the following best describes IAM policies? A. It is a rule that allows all actions on all resources. It is a rule that denies all actions on all resources. It is a document that defines permissions for IAM users, groups, or roles. It is a rule that allows read-only actions on all resources. Correct answer is C. It is a document that defines permissions for IAM users, groups, or roles explanation. IAM policies are JSON documents that define permissions for IAM users, groups, or roles. They specify what actions are allowed or denied on what resources. Question 11. How do you secure your AWS account from unauthorized access for IAM users? A. By using a strong password policy and enabling multi-factor authentication. MFAB. By creating separate IAM users for different AWS service. By setting up IAM policies with allow all permissions for all IAM users. By sharing the AWS account credentials with other team members. Correct answer is A. By using a strong password policy and enabling multi factor authentication. MFA explanation Some best practices are safeguarding your passwords and access keys, activating MFA, limiting root user access to resources and account, auditing IAM users and their policies frequently. Question 12 What does the explicit deny in an IAM policy do? A. It grants permissions to the specified actions. It allows the specified actions but logs them. An explicit deny in any policy overrides any allows. It bypasses all other policies and allows all actions.
Correct answer is C. It denies permissions to the specified actions explanation. The deny effect in an IAM policy explicitly denies permissions to the specified actions. Even if other policies grant those permissions, deny always overrides any allowed permissions. Question 13. Can you attach multiple IAM policies to an IAM role? A. No, you can attach only one IAM policy. B. Yes, you can attach multiple IAM policies. No, you can't attach IAM policies to IAM users or groups. No, IAM policies can only be attached to IAM roles. Correct answer is B. Yes. You can attach multiple IAM policies explanation IAM gives you the tools to create and manage all types of IAM policies, managed policies and inline policies, to add permissions to an IAM identity, IAM user, group, or role, you create a policy, validate the policy and then attach the policy to the identity you can attach multiple policies to an identity and each policy can contain multiple permissions question 14 what is the maximum number of iam users you can create per aws account by default a 100 b 500 c 5000 d there is no default limit it depends on the aws service usage Correct answer is B. 5000 explanation by default. The maximum number of IAM users you can create per AWS account is 5000 on each supported region. This is not adjustable https colon slash slash docs.aws.amazon.com slash general slash latest slash gr slash yam service dot htm. Question 15. Which AWS service allows you to audit and review actions taken by IAM users within your AWS account? A. AWS Inspector, AWS CloudTrail, AWS Config, AWS IAM Access Analyzer. Correct answer is B. AWS CloudTrail. Explanation AWS CloudTrail allows you to audit and review actions taken by IAM users, roles or AWS services within your AWS account. It provides detailed logs of API activity, including who made the request, when it was made, and what action was performed. Question 16. What is the purpose of an IAM Access Analyzer in AWS? A. To analyze IAM user login activity. B. To identify resources shared with an external entity. To analyze AWS service health. To analyze internet connectivity to AWS services. Correct answer is B. To identify resources shared with an external entity, Explanation IAM Access Analyzer helps you identify the resources in your organization and accounts, such as Amazon S3 buckets or IAM roles, shared with an external entity. This lets you identify unintended access to your resources and data, which is a security risk. Question 17. Which AWS service allows you to create and manage AWS managed policies? A. AWS Management Console Web, AWS Identity Stock, AWS IAM Access Analyzer, AWS Policy Generator. Correct answer is A. AWS Management Console. Explanation You can use the AWS Management Console, AWS CLI, or AWS API to create customer managed policies in IAM.
Question 18. How can you share AWS resources across AWS accounts securely? A. By using IAM groups, by using IAM roles, by using resource access mangard, by using the AWS root account credentials. Correct answer is C. By using Resource Access Manager. Explanation AWS Resource Access Manager. AWS RAM helps you securely share your resources across AWS accounts within your organization or organizational units or use. And with AWS Identity and Access Management IAM, roles and users for supported resource types. Question 19. Which action allows you to delete an IAM user using AWS CLI? A. EAM delete user. EAM delete user. EAM update user. EAM list users. Correct answer is B. EAM delete user explanation The EAM delete user action allows you to delete an IAM user in a note. Unlike the AWS management console, when you delete a user with the AWS CLI, you must delete the items attached to the user manually. Question 20 Which is not a characteristic of a user group? A a user group can contain many users. A user can belong to multiple user groups. User groups can be nested. There is no default user group that automatically includes all users in the AWS account. Correct answer is C. User groups can be nested explanation user groups can't be nested. They can contain only users, not other user groups. Thanks for watching.